our powerhouse road trip today, and we're going to Salt Lake City. According to Zillow, Salt Lake sits at uh, just about the midway point when it comes to market size. The city's median sale price is the 16th highest in the country, with the average house costing about $530,000. For more, here on, for more on what is going on in Salt Lake City's real estate scene, uh, let's bring in Jennifer Yo, CEO of Presidio Real Estate. Jennifer, welcome. Good to have you with us. Hi, thank you. How's the market? Uh, how many? Uh, how long are houses staying on the market once they're listed? Uh, and how much above or below uh, the asking or list price are they selling for? So we have a, a pretty balanced market right now. There's about 11,000 homes active on the market. But we're about 30,000 30, homes short of where we want to be. So we're kind of headed towards a balanced market, even though just this week I had multiple offers on a couple of my listings. So it's about 49 days average on the market right now. What percentage of houses are selling above ask? It's only about 23%. And so that would suggest that buyers are, is that, is that down from where it was? And would that, that would suggest that buyers have a little more edge today than they did? Correct. It's down a little bit from where it's been, and buyers have a little bit more ground right now. I, I notice here that the uh, University of Utah has a Gardner Policy Institute, which says that about three quarters of the homeowners in Utah have an interest rate that is lower than 4%. Are you seeing a locked in effect? That is, that homeowners don't feel like they can or should move because mortgage rates are so much higher than that? Absolutely. That is definitely the perception that's happening here in Utah. And we have a lot of pent up money, buyers that can't that can't afford to buy a house right now. So it's slowing sellers down from selling anyway. So we're definitely seeing that being a effect to our market right now. Given that we are expecting the Fed to make a move on rates more generally, if that then leads mortgage rates to decline somewhat, do you think even a small decline in interest rates will prompt more action on the real estate market? I do believe that. In fact, we just saw a, smite, a slight de decrease in the interest rates here, and our buyer pool ticked up. So it's been a very interesting market. I believe that there's a few now that are thinking if we lock in now and we start looking at homes in September, maybe we'll be able to lock in to an even lower rate. We have a house that we want to show. Uh, it has uh, been on the market for a while. It is up at the upper end of the price range, well above the median price in St. Louis. Uh, excuse me, in uh, Salt Lake. We were in St. Louis yesterday. Uh, a two-story, built in 2003. Take us through it. Yeah, this is a beautiful home. It's in a gated community in Sandy, Utah, which is about 25 minutes from downtown Salt Lake in our airport. And it is, it's got two kitchens, which is huge in Utah, so that you have teenage kids that when they have parties over, you have the opportunity to have the teenage kids downstairs where the game room is, the TV room is, and all of that, and keep them out of the, the adult space upstairs. Um, it's just a stunning, beautiful, remodeled home with views for days. That sounds fantastic to me, and, and nice skiing nearby, anywhere you look. Best Jen skiing in, in the world. It, 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 to me, it probably is. <laughs> Jennifer Yeo, yeah. thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.